Hi, this is Byron from Presslock. I'm a cold metal joining specialist and we're here at our plant in Hamilton. We've got a T-Rex here and we're going to go through some basic setups, basic clinching techniques, things that you can do in a, in a few series of videos here. Um, one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to cover the basics of clinch tooling. So I have a series of tools here. I have a die with a 0.050 die pocket, and I have a die with a 0 0.030 die pocket. So a 30 thou pocket and a 50 thou pocket. So you call them a 50, number 50 die and number 30 die. So that's two dies there. I've also got a reversible punch, meaning we can put it in the top or in the bottom. I've got a 20 thou punch tip radius and a 10 thou punch tip radius. There are more, so we're not going to get into that, but these are kind of sort of what we would call the extremes. So a number 20 punch, a number 10 punch. And we're going to go through some steps showing what those punches would do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a number 10 punch in and a number 50 die in. So right now that's a number 50 die going in there and a number 10 punch going in there. Nice tight fit. Okay, so as I mentioned, that punch can go on the bottom or the top. Sometimes that can be a very helpful when you need to get into a specific area and you'll understand why when we do that thick into thin or hard into soft types of clinching. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take a piece of 040 aluminum and a piece of, oh heck, I don't remember how thick this is. This is 23, 023 inches. So we're going to keep Imperial on all this for the most part. Although I've got metric set screws and Imperial set screw that's a world we live in. So here we've got the 23 thou aluminum and the 040 thou aluminum. What will probably happen, I haven't, you notice I haven't done any chesting here. And I'm going to just go and I think we're going to get a hole. And we did. So if you look right there, we got a hole right through. And that is because we have a sharp punch, a punch with a 10 thou or a number 10 punch going into a 50 die, which is one of the deeper dies. And the stack up of material here means that we're trying to drag this material a long way down into this pocket and it just rips a hole. So we're gonna try a couple changes real quick. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change the punch. So this punch is gonna go from uh, number 20. Always oh, being stubborn course. Oh. Never use a vice grip on your tooling. Never. Except when we've got to get the film done. Come on, you sucker. He's out. Okay, so we're getting our number 20 punch in. We've changed nothing else at all here. We're gonna see what this does. Probably still gonna get a hole. So 40 thou aluminum, 23 thou aluminum, rounder punch, 20 thou radius on the punch instead of 10. Let's see what happens. Well, it's a little better, actually. It's got some holding there. It's still going to come off, and we still have a hole, but you see it didn't come off right away. So that was an improvement. So the next thing we're going to try is switching this out to a number 50 die. So we're going to raise the floor of the die up 20 thou. So we've made a softer, rounder punch, and now we're going to have a shallower pocket. The shallower pocket means we're not trying to stretch that 20 thou material so far. Okay, so again, 23 thou, 40 thou. Now we may still get a hole, it may be 
So we didn't get a hole that time. Okay, so what that means is just by changing the tooling, we can make a pretty big difference. So we didn't change the squeeze settings, we didn't change anything else, we just changed those two pieces of tooling and we made a difference. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're doing clinching. We've got some more videos coming right up. Thank you.